Welcome to Watch Symposium. I'm Austin. Beautiful day here in Japan. Sunny, clear. There's a slight breeze. The temperature's perfect. We're at the park. We're making the rounds to a few parks today. My daughters are on the slide. Earlier they were swinging. While they were swinging, I was checking out some stories on the Rolex forum. We'll get to that in a minute. But first, wristwatch check the Tudor Hydronaut. And I'm really enjoying the way the sunlight is playing on the dial. I'll make a video about the accuracy of this watch sometime. But what if I told you there was a guy that paid close to 15,000 USD for an Oyster Perpetual 41 with the coral dial? I mean, that is insane. That's a 5,900 USD watch, but to pay that kind of premium, is that crazy or what? Well, if you had asked me 10 minutes ago, I would have said, yes, absolutely. I would have said it's probably some high roller, some guy with more money than sense, or so much money that it's just a drop in the bucket and he just wanted the damn watch. But no, I mean, this is just a regular guy. So can you justify a purchase like that? Well, before we do, let me just say that we often judge watch purchases through our own experiences, our own situation, our own lens. And you might think about the watch in question, whether you'd want that watch, or you might think about the money paid for it. And 15,000, I mean, you can get a really good 16710 pre-ceramic GMT Master II for that. But that's just the thing. Perspective, subjectivity, come into play and we often only get half the story. Well, here's the rest of the story. Here's the important piece of information you need to understand. And if you're anything like me, it's gonna instantly justify this purchase. The guy has three to five years left to live. He's on the home stretch of his life. When you're in that situation, you gotta get your grails. You don't have any other time. And the funny thing is we're all dying, some of us, sooner than others, and many of us don't know exactly when. And so we're able to conveniently kind of forget about it. I'll get to those grails later. Well, there might not be a later, okay? And instead of waiting till you get the timestamp, which has to be terrifying, you might wanna make those purchases happen now. All right, so that's point one. And I think point two is, is just the fact that we often don't know the whole story, okay? We don't know the reasons people buy, sell, do the things they do with the watches they have. And it's easy to judge through our own perspective. But when you get the whole story, what seems like an insane purchase can instantly make complete sense. So check out this story, I'll put a link to it in the description of this video. And let me know what you think. Are there any grails that you wanna realize before your dying day? Well, you might wanna look into it. As for me, I'm not sure. But anyway, it's a thought-provoking thread. So check it out. Let me know what you think. Take care, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.